Hello guys, uh, welcome to my tutorial on mathematics. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be doing intermediate forms and Allospital's rule. So basically, this was the guy uh, who got this invented. Uh, I know everybody feels like killing him, but still, we need to study intermediate forms and Allospital's rule. So basically, what are intermediate forms? Uh, everyone has, I guess, suppose have done in twelve like intermediate forms like zero by zero infinity by infinity, 0 into infinity, or 1 power infinity, or 0 to power infinity to solve limits. So basically, indeterminate forms and L hospital rule allows you to solve limits without using standard formulas. Uh, you can just differentiate the numerator separately and denominator separately and substitute the value of x which it tends. So you'll be able to solve the limit. So consider limit x tends to 2 x square minus 4 upon x minus 2 and the second part is limit x tends to 1 ln x upon x minus 1 so if we try to evaluate by direct substitution as you can see on the screen we get 0 by 0 but so we need to evaluate this because 0 by 0 is an indeterminate form we don't know what the value of 0 by 0 is so uh, in case of first limit uh, Mm, and we'll try to evaluate by factoring and cancelling because x square minus 4 is x plus 2 into x minus 2 which gets x minus 2 cancelled and limit x tends to plus 2 is 4. So this was the problem that we will solve by factorizing but in the second case it's not possible because ln x upon x minus 1 can't be factorized. So consider f of x upon g of x as limit x tends to 2 x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. So instead of factorizing, we'll be using L hospital's rule. We'll differentiate the numerator separately and denominator separately. Then substitute x equal to 2 because it's no more indeterminate. And then we get 4. So this was the same answer that we got by factorizing and by using L hospital's rule. So in the second case also, we'll do the same procedure. We'll differentiate the numerator separately, denominator separately and substitute the value of x which it tends. So this was a procedure from where we get the answer for indeterminate forms. So this was a third example e power x by x. You can watch uh, how, how long you want. That's not a case. So now consider an example x tends to 0 1 minus cos x upon x plus x squared. I differentiated it numerator separately denominator separately so one differentiation of one is zero cos x is minus sin x and denominator is x plus x square that is one plus two x now it's no more indeterminate because if we substitute x equal to zero we get zero by one so which is zero if it's no longer indeterminate then stop differentiating this is the point that i want to highlight guys if it's no longer indeterminate then stop differentiating because if we try to continue, we'll end up with the wrong answer. So you should stop differentiating when it's no longer indeterminate. On the other hand, you can apply hospital's rule as many times as necessary, still the fraction is indeterminate because this is the uh, to solve the limit. So consider this example as you put 0 equal to x, we get 0 by 0. So we'll differentiate, we'll put x equal to 0 again, which turns out to be 0 by 0. So we'll differentiate it again and put x equal to 0. We get answer as minus 1 by 4 upon 2, which is minus 1 by 8. Because it was not 0 by 0, so we'll put the value of x equal to 0 and stop differentiating again because it's not 0 by 0. <laughs> so now indeterminate products because uh, in the first part of this video, we saw various forms of indeterminate products, but L hospital's rule can be applied only when we get 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity. Only these two cases can be solved by using an hospital's rule. So uh, you may be questioning yourself then what of the question that you see right in front of your screen that is limit x tends to infinity x sine 1 by x. Because when you put x equal to infinity, it's infinity into 0. Because sine 1 by infinity is 0 and sine 0 is 0. So 0 into infinity. So we'll review it as a ratio. Like we'll take 
the x in the denominator so if you solve the below written expression that is limit x tends to infinity sin 1 by x upon 1 by x which turns out to be the same here so this approaches infinity by infin 0 by 0 I, I'm sorry guys it approaches 0 by 0 so we'll differentiate and solve but we already know that limit x tends to 0 is sin x by x equal to 1 so but if we use a loss product rule it will be sin 1 by x upon 1 by x cos 1 by x into minus 1 by x square which gets 1 by minus 1 by x square gets cancelled and limit x tends to infinity cos 1 by x now if you put x equal to infinity 1 by infinity is 0 and it's cos 0 which is 1 so this was the problem which approaches 0 into infinity similarly now indeterminate differences that is infinity minus infinity this is also an indeterminate form but L hospital's rule cannot be applied directly so we need to convert in the form which makes it as 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity so if you will review it as a ratio like if we take the LCM common denominator and subtract we get limit x tends to 1 x minus 1 minus ln x upon x minus 1 into ln x so now it's of the form 0 by 0 so now we get a green signal to apply L hospital's rule so go forward and apply L hospital's rule it is applied once and again the LCM and common denominator is taken fraction is cleared but still it is 0 by 0 so we'll differentiate it again here and error hospitals rule again and the answer is half so this was the form that we will that we discussed till now but now we move ahead with indeterminate power that is one power infinity zero power zero and infinity power zero these are also indeterminate forms and there's a special trick to evaluate the limits which have powers like if you recall anything to the power can be turned into a linear expression by taking logarithm logarithm of that number so ln u power n is n ln u we can write the expression as a ratio which allows us to use l hospital's rule so limit f of x x tends to a e power ln f of x x tends to a now we can take the log of the function as well as long as we expone at the same time because now the same expression that you see here on the screen is same as this because uh, I remember it in this way like we interchange e and the bracket the term in the ln which gives the same expression here so if you solve this then move the limit notation outside of the log because it can be taken inside or outside now indeterminate forms of 1 power infinity and 0 power 0 and infinity power 0 so consider an example limit x tends to 1 by x x tends to infinity it's infinity to power 0 now we need to solve by turning it in the form 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity because these are the two forms which can be solved by using L hospital's rule and nothing else so the same procedure which we use behind we'll solve it till we get the answer i hope guys you're getting whatever is looking on the screen because a little, uh, repeating it again and again might get you bored so i'm just showing you how we approach to the answer and finally ls plus rule is applied and we get e power zero equal to one so this was the example showing how to solve limit indeterminate forms of this kind of problems this was the one example but you can practice more by picking up any textbook now this is a sample problem uh, I must say a variety of problem which can be brought in this chapter so as you can see question on the screen we have to find a and b so if you put x equal to 0 it's 0 by 0 so we need to use L hospital's rule on differentiating we get the above expression on the screen which again tends to be 0 by 0 so now pay attention guys in the denominator it's 3x square so if we put x equal to 0 is 0 but to apply L hospital's rule on this expression 
we also need the numerator to be zero. I repeat it guys, to also apply L hospital's rule, we also need numerator to be zero so that it turns out to be zero by zero. It turns out to be zero by zero and we can solve it further. So for the numerator to be zero by zero, I guess everyone knows it put x equal to zero. So we get this equation one plus a minus b equal to zero. So now we have made the above expression zero by zero by taking this equation. So we differentiate it again and we get this equation which is already zero by zero. So no need to as, uh, find any equation like this. Now again differentiate and follow the same procedure as above. I give it to you guys to do this and practice so that uh, you could get a hands through to this kind of problems. So differentiate it again and follow the same procedure as above. You'll get an equation in A by B. I have given the equation here minus 3a plus b equal to 6. So solve this and 1 plus a minus b equal to 0 to get a equal to minus 5 by 2 and b equal to minus 3 by 2. Uh, I've given the values of a and b so that you can check the answer you have got. So this was it guys and thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you understand solving indeterminate forms and be sure to subscribe my channel and thank you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you.